Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if the shell infrastructure host process is experiencing high CPU usage on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in settings, best match, should come back with settings, go ahead and open that up. Now on the left side, you want to select Apps. And then on the right side, underneath Apps, select Installed Apps. And search Apps field, type in Photos. Best match, I'll come back with Microsoft Photos. Go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to it. And select Advanced Options. Scroll down, underneath Reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select Repair. And then once it's done, attempt to relaunch your Microsoft Photos application and see if that has resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing an issue, you can attempt to reset the application. So if you select the reset option, this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select reset and give that a moment. And once that is done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best result, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevator command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. And now hopefully the shell infrastructure host error should be resolved. So this is hopefully a pretty straightforward process for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.